All right, enough teasing. Time to see what the heck this distance OSPF command is all about. And what I've done here during the break, I've taken RIP totally out of the equation because the changes we have in this lab, I want you to see all in one table. And I've added a couple of areas. We now have a regular old O area, that being an intra-area route, uh, to 33333 over on Router 3, which I created during the break. We've also got an inter-area route to 3333 over on router 3, created that during the break, and we still have the E2 routes we had earlier because I've closed now uh, router 2 serial interface, so it's seeing 172.12.123.0 as an OE2 route as well. So you got to be thinking, like I certainly was at one point, um, okay, with the distance command, you can change the AD as we did for first all the OSPF routes. Then we saw how to use it to change all the route, the AD of all the routes from a specific source. And then we learned how to use an ACL to filter and name the routes that we wanted the AD to be changed for while leaving the rest alone. So you got to be thinking, what the heck is left for distance OSPF to do? Well, what I did during the break is kind of a clue to that because I want you to be able to see all of this in action. Let's bring up the distance command, and there it is with distance OSPF. And I believe I mentioned that you're going to use this in a specialized situation. The distance OSPF command can be used when you want to change the AD for all your external routes and or your inter-area routes and or your intra-area routes. And what I mean by that is you can change the distance for all three of these route types actually with one command. Now, I doubt very seriously you're really going to be doing that very often. This is why you don't see this command a great deal. But every once in a while, it may just be easier and more efficient just to say, okay, instead of using the distance command and the ACL and the whole bit, I just want all my inter-area routes to have a different AD. And that's how you can do it. So if I choose external here, it's going to ask me, what distance do you want for those? Okay, just for fun, I'm going to set 175. I'm just pulling that out of the sky. And you have the option to change the external, inter-area, and inter-area ADs all with one command. And we're going to go ahead and do that. But you could do them separately with three different commands. That's not a problem. Uh, I'll go ahead and set inter-area. Same option, 165 on that one. And then my intra-area, which I have a feeling is my last option. There it is. And we'll set that to 155. So that's a pretty long-winded command. But I'm a pretty long-winded guy. So let's see. Well, you know what I mean. So let's put show IP route OSPF in and see if we see these changes. And we do. Now we see some 175s, some 165s, and a 155 in there. And again, you can use the end of, you can change the routes individually. I mean on the external routes on one line, the inter-area routes on one line, and the intra-area routes on another line. That's no problem at all. Uh, again, not a command you use a great deal generally in the field, and I would think on the exam you'd use distance with the number more often than this, but I do want you to know that this option exists. And then this way, you're not the one who's sitting right here saying, hmm, what's the difference between using administrative distance and OSPF distance? Because now you know. And as a great man once said, knowing is half the battle. Okay, let's, uh, let's give OSPF a break for a while. <laughs> no, 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 I insist. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to run the same uh, basic lab, the same topology, and I'll have an illustration for you at the beginning of the next section. But in place of OSPF, we're going to run EIGRP and see what differences we can see along the way.